Welcome back to another video today. We are on this beautiful 2025 Indian Scout 101. Now, Indian has done a great job with this bike right here, throwing everything at this bike, throwing all the bells and whistles on it, anything you can ask for on a bike. And yes, this is a beautiful bike. It does perform well and it does do what it is intended to do now i think indian still has a lot of work to do and um let's just get on the bike and get on the road and talk about it oh can we do the uh watch of the day this is my seiko king turtle absolutely love this thing kind of uh kind of my daily right now absolutely love it Nine thousand RPM of pure joy and fun. <laughs> now let's talk about today's discussion. What does Indian need to do in order to compete with Harley? Now I've done this discussion before, and I kind of broke it down on which avenue they need to go down now. Now Indian has had some great success in the past few years with the Indian Challenger going ahead the Harley Davidson Road Glide and the Indian Challenger is a great bike but it is safe to say that when it comes to the quality and finish Indian still has a bit of a, a, a stretch to go when it comes to performance the Indian Challenger you could say that it kind of yeah it, it kind of beats Harley on the Road Glide we all know the success that the Indian Scout has had it being their best selling bike, the Indian Scout is an icon. Now with the uh, Indian 101 here, this is this is the Indian Scout on steroids plus more. This bike is phenomenal. And the new upgrades and what they have done for the 2025 models is a lot. Now the Scout was competing with the Harley Davidson Sportster. As we know, the old Sportsters are gone. What Harley Davidson has to offer you now is the Nightster. Great bike, great bike. Very similar to what you have here in the 101. But I gotta say, a lot of people are not liking the Nightster. I, I just don't know what it is. I think it's a phenomenal bike. The uh, Nightster Special is awesome. Um, but I guess it was uh, a big drastic change for people to see, let's say, an 883 or an Iron 1200 compared to what the Nicer is now, and they're just kind of lost. So you could say that the Scout kind of has an upper hand right now. Now, when it comes to the Challenger and the Rogue Glide, I mean, the Rogue Glide is still all selling the Challenger any day out of the week. But there's one segment where Harley Davidson is still dominating. And that is with the uh, mid cruiser line. You're talking about the soft tail lineup. And I'm talking about one bike in particular, the Lowrider S or the Lowrider ST for that. The only bike that Indian has to offer to go against the Lowrider S is the uh, Sport Chief. And I love the Sport Chief. I, I think what Indian did with the Sport Chief is phenomenal and it definitely turned a lot of heads but there's something about the lowrider st the lowrider st is what i have at home in that tobacco fade it looks absolutely beautiful and the success that harley has had with that bike with that fairing with the design with the bags is phenomenal people love the design of that bike now, what Indian needs to do, in my opinion, is to come out with a super sport chief, where Indian can come up and design uh, a fairing for that bike, some hard bags, detachable, and put it neck to neck, head to head, with the Lowrider ST. 
the lowrider estate brings in a lot of customers a lot of people like that bike a lot of people buy that bike the baggers are the bread and butter road glide street glide yes but after that what people are really buying what people are really liking what they really want is a lowrider st you're basically getting a mini bagger you got whip protection with that fairing you got bags that are easily detachable and that can easily transform your bike from looking one way to another amongst a few other things cruise control and a bunch of stuff now if indian was to take the sport chief and do something like that yeah i i i think it'll it'll i think it'll i think it'll do great me personally i am a huge fan of a bike with a fairing in the front and bags that are detachable are just a plus but the fact that you can ride all day and all night and wherever you want to go and have that wind protection that's just a plus to me yes i do like these little mini fairings here but it's only so much that these little fairings could do for around town or doing speeds of 76 which i'm doing right now i mean for a little while it's fine but if you're going to be taking a long long trip there's still a ton of wind that's going to be hitting you and i mean the wind does get you really really tired for those long rides you want to be more comfortable you want more protection i mean that's just me some people just don't mind some people just they they don't mind the wind at that but think about it a sport chief with a fairing with detachable hard bags a few little tweaks here and there that would be amazing but what do you guys think down below do you do you think i'm just crazy or do you think yeah you know what indian does need something like that because at the moment they don't offer anything like that at all if you want a fairing you need to get a bagger or there's a mini fairing that you have on this bike and also a sport chief but it's small the indian if you guys are listening think about it man take it to the drawing board come up with some cool ideas because i guarantee you that people will definitely be looking and people will definitely be interested in that let me know what you guys think down below i am going to keep enjoying this beautiful day we got some beautiful weather out here in dirty jersey high of 70 ish degrees 75 around there or so blue skies semi-clear skies can't ask for better weather than this man anyways that's gonna be it like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace oh wait peace